So, pear slugs, otherwise known as cherry slugs. I just looked at our, our uh, cherry tree back there and discovered all these little green slugs on it. And they are obviously absolutely destroying the leaves. So I wanted to know pretty quickly how to get rid of them, what to do about them. Turns out these things aren't actually slugs. They're an insect. They're actually a larva of the sawfly. They prefer cherry trees, but they'll also target your plums, hawthorns, apples, quinces, apricots. So any sort of similar tree, they're happy to target, but they do like the cherries. But anyway, you want to get rid of them pretty quick. So I'll show you some of the damage it's actually been doing to our tree back here. Now, whichever method you use to control them, you'll probably have to do it a couple of times. They have two hatching cycles per season and they do tend to target the tree during the warmer months. They, I think they, um, the sawflies lay their eggs in spring and so, you know, we're just, we're just in summer at the moment. Despite my jersey, it's a bit chilly today. The first thing that'll happen is your leaves will start to look slightly spotty, brownish, and then very quickly they'll start to sort of disintegrate. They'll kind of look all crisp and papery, and again, I'll, I'll show you in a second. Now, this solution that my faithful assistant Aston has here is a mixture of washing up liquid and water. Now, of course, you can, you can buy fancy sprays and stuff to get rid of them, but apparently this is the most effective thing to use. I have put two tablespoons of washing up liquid in with a litre of water. I made it slightly warm water because I figured it would mix in better. Now, the washing up liquid does need to come into direct contact with all of the bugs. You need to completely saturate the tree, and as I say, you might even need to do two applications. Um, you know, maybe a few days apart or something. I'm kind of winging it at the moment, but I'll keep you updated as to how, <laughs> how we go with them. Now, apparently another way, you can just squash them. Me, I'm a bit squeamish when it comes to stuff like that, so I'm not big on squashing them. Um, and plus, we've got quite a lot of them, so I could be here for quite some time doing that. Um, got a water blaster or something, or a pressure spray, you can just blast them off. I have heard that flour actually dries them up. They'll shrivel up and die if you coat the tree in flour. And the same with wood ash, apparently wood ash. You can actually coat the tree in that and that'll dry them right up. But for me, this seemed like the easiest. So, me and Aston are gonna get spraying. So if you look at those, see they're green and slimy and pear shaped and you can see what they're doing to the leaf. That's obviously one that they're working on. That is, you know, that poor old leaf is looking quite skeletal, quite crispy. They've, it's, yeah, all around that half of the tree. And this part, they are just absolutely, well, they're having a field day. Go, Aston. Okay, so we are back about a week later. This is a different tree because it's just easier to film this tree. It doesn't have the bird netting around it. But um, yeah, as you can see, we still have some little sluggies. However, that's actually a lot less than what there was. We um, Originally, I thought we only had that one tree at the end there that had the bugs on it, or the slugs, I should say. Um, no, it turns out almost all of our trees dotted down our driveway we've got a whole heap of stone fruit almost all of them had those little slugs so i hadn't even noticed until i saw them on one tree and then i suddenly looked around and yeah i realized how bad some of the leaves have got and i was kind of thinking well how could i not notice so <laughs> i've got my spray monitor here he's got the spray but that seemed to have worked really really well they have i mean they, their numbers have dwindled to the point where i'm just seeing the odd one on some of the trees now so that actually worked really well so there we go people do it we're just going to have another spray hopefully that will be the end of our woes for now and the trees will recover don't have to buy chemicals or anything and the good thing about not buying chemical stuff is people like this can help spray it <laughs> 